So Midjourney's just released a brand new upscale. I'm gonna show you how it works and what you can expect. Essentially, if I create an image like I have here, an image grid, and I use my typical upscaling method by hitting upscale one, at a ratio of one to one, I get an image which is 1024 by 1024 pixels. But if I come down, you see I have two options here, upscale two and upscale four. If I hit upscale two, and I also hit upscale four, I get an upscale which doubles that original resolution to 2048 by 2048. And it does a pretty good job. And it does a lot of enhancing the detail and sharpening up certain areas. And I go to the upscale four and it quadruples that size to 4096 by 4096. And again, we've got some pretty good details and a pretty decent resolution. This is about as good as high resolution you can get straight out of an AI uh, platform. The fact that it's mid journey, which produces uh, arguably pretty much the best images um, is pretty amazing. But also we can pop these into something else to take that resolution even further and then make some comparisons. Now, I do want to mention there are some limitations with using the mid-journey upscaler, which I'll get to in a minute. But one thing that I do like to do is use Topaz Gigapixel or Topaz Photo AI. And I've taken the 4X image and popped it in here. And I'm going to 4X that again to about 16,000 by 16,000 pixels. And you can see how it kind of next levels that. It actually adds a bit of texture to the nose here. And we're zoomed right in on the nose of that whole image. We go somewhere where we've got a bit of hair and light. You can see it's kind of painted in strands of hair. Does a great job with the frame of the sunglasses and even generally cleans up the image. So I'm gonna export this at 16,000 by 16,000 pixels so we can compare all of these. And then before we do that comparison, I'm gonna show you where the limitation lies when it comes to using the Mid Journey Upscaler. So I'm back up with our original image. And what I'm actually gonna do this time is I'm going to pan. I'm gonna to pan to the right to produce an image that is wider. I upscale my favorite variation. And what we get is an image that's 1536 by 1024. Because every time we pan, it actually adds to that image and makes that image larger. So we can increase the size of the image. We don't increase the resolution, but we do create a larger high resolution image overall in the sense that we get more information added to the image. But there is a problem. That image cannot be upscaled with Mid Journey's new upscaler. So you do still need an external upscaler if you plan on upscaling your panned photos. So that's handy to know before going ahead and diving into the upscaler, although you probably would have found that out on your own anyway. But let's go and check out some of these comparisons. So I've imported all of our images into Photoshop. I've got the original and as well as the upscale 2X, the upscale 4X and the Topaz, which is basically a 16X at this stage. And you can sort of see if we zoom in on the face a little bit, you can see how things are a bit pixelated. We go from the original to the 2X, it's looking a bit better. The 2X to the 4X, and it's looking quite smooth. When we go to the 16X, you can't see a huge difference because we're not zoomed in enough. But if you look at, say, the detail on the nose and the cleanliness of some of those sort of like shades, you can see from the 4X to the Topaz Gigapixel, there's a bit of a difference. And don't forget, you can save some of your mid-journey GPU time simply by buying Topaz Gigapixel and using it straight up as well. So this is another thought before we keep going. But zoom in on the nose and you can see every little pore and detail like we did before. Let's go back to the start. So we've got the original image, mid-journey's double upscale of the 2X, the 4X, and then Topaz taking it to the next level. Once again, it's a 16,000 by 16,000 pixel image. Combining these mid-journey upscales of Topaz is a really powerful thing, and you can print this at almost any resolution, any size. Uh, pretty exciting stuff. And let's go to the strands of hair on the side here. We have our original image, MJ's 2X. Things are looking a bit finer, a bit better. The 4X, things are still looking pretty good, pretty fine. We go to the Topaz Gigapixel, and you can see almost every strand of hair. Keep in mind, you actually have different profiles. You can try with Topaz as well to get different results. But uh, overall, these results are pretty exciting. This sort of little metal bit down the end here, this is the 1X again. We go to the 2X and things are a little bit more detailed. The 4X and things are looking a bit sort of more metallic, a little bit sort of fuzzier. Go to Topaz and it's sharpened it up. It looks like proper metal. So uh, it's really done a great job of upscaling that image. And again, the strands of hair all there looking pretty good. So overall, combining these two together is gonna to be really, really handy. But even if you don't have an upscale like Topaz, being able to go up to 4,000 pixels is really good and really useful for a lot of people. But adding Topaz is gonna to be like a superpower because you've got something really incredible. Mid Journey produces 
is the easiest platform to produce really high quality images and now it has the ability to produce some of the highest resolution images you can get straight out of a platform so now combining that with topaz you're going to get some pretty awesome images i mean just check out some of this detail so i highly recommend jumping on to mid journey have a play with this with these new upscalers see what results you can get check out the quality for yourself see what you think and if you get a chance grab a copy of topaz there's a link in the description if you want to try that as well and take it to the next level and you can make your images absolutely gigantic now so i think that's pretty exciting uh, otherwise i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please consider giving it a like otherwise thanks for watching and let me know what you think of this new upscaler in the comments see you later